sons are feminists from birth. Let's go ahead and play this clip. Are feminists already. Sebastian is a feminist. Tell me what that means. It just means equality. He gets it. You know, he, uh, we were in the car and his friend was like, Miss Amber, ask us like what we like in girls, like what we like about girls. And I was like, okay, do you like blonde hair? Do you like dark hair? You know? And Noah was like, well, I just don't want my girlfriend being on OnlyFans. And Sebastian was like, bro, you can't say that. Like, you have to let a woman do what she wants with her body. Like, that's not cool. Like, you can't do that. Were you so proud? And I like, it was like a tear like came down my cheek. That's so beautiful. And I'm like, that's my fucking baby. Like, damn. I instilled that in him. Like, I was going to say, how did you do that? I'm birth. asking. I, I need like, I need to take notes. I would say, don't be scared. These kids, if they don't learn from you, they're going to learn from TikTok and Instagram. My son, knew anytime, I mean, I know this is going to sound crazy, but anytime I used the bathroom and my son was two, three years old, he'd be like, mommy, do you need a tampon? Do you need a pad, mommy? I'll, I'll go in the drawer and get it for you. I told him about everything. You're just like open about your body and your, yeah. Have to. Yeah. You have to because you're famous. Your son, by the time he's five, is going to start Googling you and and seeing everything. And if you don't have those conversations, like, but when Sebastian said that, he was like, because he said that somebody told him your mom is on OnlyFans. And I was like during the pandemic. I mean, yeah. I had to work, mm -hmm. you know? Of course. There's no shame in that. Yeah. And um, yes, it is. I had a whole conversation <laughs> with him about it, you know? I have a whole well, How did you talk to him about it? Just like, this is a way that Yo. mommy can make money. And like, my body is like, can be sexual. And like, that's a good thing. Like, what did you say? Yeah. I also said that whoever told him that their parents are ignorant, because obviously he got it from his parents, because mm -hmm. the fucking kid we're talking about. Yeah, right. Of course. And uh, yeah. And I what? just explained everything to him. Like, when it comes to women, you have to let women do what they need to do to support their families. You want to go to a nice school, Six Flags, Universal, travel. You know, mommy has to make money. And uh, he knows that I was a stripper years ago. Mm. It's just, I feel like I desensitized instead of like him finding out when he's 20. Mm -hmm. You know, like, well, what? also, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Mommy being a stripper, mommy being on OnlyFans, make work and build the life that you've built for him. Bro. Yeah, totally. which is impressive. JR, please stop. Okay. Yeah, that, Bro, was, that was. I got so much to say. Hold on, hold on. Let he me have an emotionally me. incestuous relationship yeah. where it's done. I kind of want to do reverse way. Let me get some of the people uh, that hasn't been talking much. I'm going to go to Clout Jones. I'm going to get to Louise and B Madden. He said, "What? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm saying I, I think she has an emotionally incestuous relationship with her son. I think that's that's kind of disgusting. Um, I don't think her son at that age should be that involved with what's going on with her, his mother's body, or women's bodies in general. I feel like a kid should be a kid and just leave it at that." Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you for being the first to say that because you literally took the words right out of my mouth. This is just brainwashing at this point. This is just brainwashing this is uh you know kind of just curating the mind and experience of this young boy mind you this is not a young girl this is a young boy you know what i'm saying who is going to get to a certain age and navigate this world around other men and women and his sense of of his own masculinity she has kind of almost like emasculated him before he's already become a, man, a young boy, a young man. Like, I, I think that there are boundaries that need to be set, especially in certain relationships. And obviously conversations are important, but to really put out there the idea that, you know what I'm saying, your mom is selling her body on OnlyFans for $3.99 it, it is okay. You know what I'm saying? We're just setting the wrong precedent example for him. In the way that he's going to navigate relationships in the future, he's just going to get dog walked because he's like, oh, this is just normal. This is just what women do. And, I'm, and look, I'm all for 
people can do whatever they want, but at least stand on your shit. Fast money comes with slow problems all the time. And this is just one of those things that she doesn't see in hindsight. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Um, that video was disgusting to me personally. Um, first off, off the question, Amber Rose says sons are feminists from birth. Um, that's brainwashing. That, nothing happened from birth, period. Uh, feminism and all that is a, obviously, it's a modern construct. So there's no way that they're, they were feminists from birth. So she definitely programmed them. She definitely desensitized them to a different level um, to make herself seem to she really, what she, what she did is she normalized herself and her behavior and her profession is what she's done. And the whole knowing your, your mom's body intimately and all that kind of stuff when it comes to, you know, the tampons, all the different things like that. I didn't know none of that stuff when I was little. I don't need to know any of that stuff when I'm two, three, four, five. Six. I don't need to know any of that stuff. You know, you don't start learning about, you know, biology. You don't start learning about, you know, hormones and that kind of stuff until you get, you know, preteen age, you know, 11, 12, when your body actually starts changing. It's more so about education about your body first. And then a couple of years later, they start talking about the opposite genders body and what's going on with them. So then you start learning about sexual organs and different things like that. Um, but I think she had to just get ahead of all of it because like she said, when he, when the kid turns five, he can just Google you and see everything. So I think she just tried everything she could to get ahead of it and desensitize her kids first from it so that it won't blow their minds. Um, and you talk about mommy's got to work and this and that, I mean, you know, that's the, that's the, the profession you chose to go, go into, but at the same time, it's going to conflate, you know, kind of like what Luis would say, it's going to conflate everything in his mind when he grows up as a young man looking for a mate. He's going to be all sorts of screwed up. He's not going to know what's good, what's bad, what's normal, what's shameful, or anything like that. His entire uh, uh, coping mechanism and, 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 and trying to decide that is going to be all screwed up. Um, and it's really sad. It's really sad. But, I mean, it's her kid. She can do what she want to do with her kid. But... You know, I think I think her nine year old son is Wiz Khalifa's son, you know, so I just hope he's doing something on his end that can help counteract or balance some of that. But I mean, you know, eh, ain't no telling. But um, yeah, no one's born with any of that. It's, it's definitely an experiment that she's doing and um, she's doing what she's got to do for her to make herself feel better. And so the, her kids don't look at her like she's the enemy or like she's crazy or like she's shameful in any way, shape, or form. So mm -hmm. that's all I got. Also, don't 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 take for granted that there are other young women who are watching this and taking notes and who have gone through probably similar experiences and might be thinking of using this as the the uh the blueprint, <laughs> you know, on how to explain things to their young boys. You'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how, how, how how former hoes can be like, yeah, this is you know, this is how we raise our kids around it. Yeah, it's, know, it's, it's strippers, a boot camp program. Current, yeah, yeah, it's it's all hip, it's all it's all hypnotizing. You know, it's all it's all brainwashing. So, you know, so look, let, me, let, me, let me see if I can add something here. She says he gets it. Equality, body positivity, sexual promiscuity, whatever you want to call it. This is the result of a single mom raising a young boy. She is shame proofing her son to be able to deal with the jokes and insults that will come from his peers in grade school. When he becomes an adult, he is going to puke on her temper fade. She is concerned about his morals being challenged via TikTok. I'd say... If he had access to King Talk tonight, he'd be convinced that what his mom does is totally fine. And if he encounters a woman like her, the vet, then he should accept her sexual trauma and sexual history. Mm. 
You know, it's essentially just saying with the kids is just, and that's the sad part. It's essentially telling the son, accept any and all things. Accept anything from a woman. Accept all things from a woman. You know, th there's nothing she should be ashamed about. There's nothing she should feel bad about. There's nothing that she should um, be embarrassed about. You know, take her as she is, no matter what traumas come with her, no matter what she's done in her past, no matter how many bodies she has on her, there's nothing she can do that's wrong. And that's what she have no boundaries. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's it's and she's setting her sons up for for failure. And <laughs> the sad my, part is the sad count, part man. is right. And the sad part is is that she rather save her own face than protect her son growing up and, and, and helping him be the man that he needs to be. And that's the sad part. She rather save her own face and spite her son's nose. And that's the messed up part about it. Let me, let me say this. Woman. Let me say this. Um, I want to speak to Alexander Edwards. And that's um, this little, little boy's dad. I will slap the shit out of you if I ever see you in person. This motherfucker. Oh, shit. Because I'm looking at him. This, like, a uh, sorry excuse for a father has this little boy living with this piece of crap. Because my thing is, Sometimes we can turn around and have a baby by a chick that we didn't realize was whatever, right? His job is to get that child away from this goddamn woman. I, the number one thing I always talk about is get these goddamn children away from these damn women. So Alexander Edwards, you are the problem, not her. Women are children. Women are gonna do stupid, idiotic shit. You are the problem, Alexander Edwards, and you, sir, are trash. Go get your son before your son ends up worse than he already is. I'm looking at you. I, ain't, I don't care nothing about no Amber Rose. I'm looking at you, sir. You are trash. Alexander Edwards, go get your damn son. That's all I gotta say. I ain't, I ain't talking about her. I'm talking about that nigga. So oh, real quick, let me throw mine in because I'm fast. I'll be fast with it. Um, Amber Rose says sons are feminists from birth. In the middle of that interview, she said, I instilled that in him. So that's the contradiction in and of itself. <laughs> she said, I instilled that in him. Well, I thought he Yahtzee. was born. Amber, I thought he was born. Yeah, see. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You had you instilled that in him. And if you ever had to go to court, that'd be the case. Just two people I disagree with. I disagree with Bruiser and I disagree with Mr. Letgo. I disagree with Bruiser because Bruiser said when that boy becomes an adult, he's going to puke on her fate. No, he's not, Bruiser. Unfortunately, it's going to be burned in, bro. The programming will be complete. And if you want an example, look at 50 Cent Son. The thing is, his, it's going to be burnt. We, we would think that when he gets older, he's going to realize and he's going to say, damn, I'm, moms did what? Oh, hell no. She told no. It, this is indoctrination at its finest. And when he gets 20, he's going to be so fucked up that he will, in fact, he, he will be the white knight to support that bullshit. And that's what's happening. The pro we, we would think that he would do that. Our logic tells us that he would rebuke that. But in fact, he's going to be an ally for the bullshit. I disagree with Mr. Let Go because Mr. Let Go says Wiz is tripping. Mr. Let Go, you and it's I both Wiz. know. Wiz ain't a baby daddy. Oh, okay. Alexander, whoever the baby daddy is. Mr. Let Go, you and I know that he can't get that boy away from her because she got the government on her side. She got the, she got the, gut. we are, men are fighting women and government and the government is the new father. Government is women are, you know that Mr. Lego, we, we preach that together. And so if, if Alexander was to go and try to, is nothing that Alexander can do because she got Uncle Sam backing her up with all his might, all his power, his judges and, and his police force. 